<coughs> oh, well, we can cut that out, right? All right, so let's just get this out of the way. <coughs> I got COVID-19. I'm still alive, barely, but I'm still here. And I appreciate everyone that reached out to me when they noticed I wasn't uploading, but you know who doesn't necessarily care when you aren't feeling well? Labels contracts, deadlines. All these things have to be accounted for regardless of how you feel sometimes. And that's just the way the world works. It is cutthroat out there. And as a mixer, there are two things people depend on you for. Remember this for the rest of your careers, your ability and your reliability. You have to have the ability first and then people have to be able to rely on said ability. By the end of this video, you'll have some new tips and tricks to guide you when you might not be able to trust your ears 100%. So what's happening fam? Miami here with JST, and besides kind of feeling and looking like crap, my sinuses have been bothering me since I got sick. This means I can't really trust my ears 100%, but I can still trust myself. And whether people wanna believe it or not, mixing is a science, just like cooking. You ever make something to eat without even tasting it by just following a recipe? No, I have. And maybe at the end of that, you're like, oh, this needs a little bit more salt, but otherwise it was basically on point. Side note, I can't taste a lot of things right now either. You know the vibes. By the point is, I wanna give you guys the recipe. And for the record, I'm not saying you should always do this, but it's good to have a backup plan. Step one to mixing with your eyes using a template. Now, the avid viewers know I'm no stranger to this, but if not, you should go check out one of my most recent videos in which I made a template in the vein of Bring Me the Horizon. I know a lot of people are against templates and feel like they should build a song up from scratch every time because each song is unique and has its own character and personality. But don't forget what I mentioned earlier, reliability. Does that ring a bell? And more importantly, did you ring a bell? Make sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe button to be informed when we upload new content even with COVID, my transition game is still sick. Sick. Back to what we were talking about. You want each song to have its own personality, but what about reliability? Chances are you got hired because of your past work. Sometimes that's exactly what people are looking for. And with a completely plug-in based template, it's pretty hard to fail. Check this out real quick. So let's take a listen to this Bring Me The Horizon template. And I wanna show the importance of having templates that are fully set up where all the plugins are already on their tracks. And we're gonna bypass this as we go through. So you can see how, see the importance of the template. You tell me how can I follow Someone so hollow In your shadow It's our only common ground And you send me So when you have a template like this, you can trust your eyes and just drag things into the slot they're supposed to be. And, and of course, you can download this template for free at joeysturgistones.com. So this was the original guitar tone I had for, uh, for the ammo part. But here's another one that I had made with JST Demon Fuzz. So this is an example of where you could have used either one of these and they have completely different identities for the part. Um, I ended up going with the first one, but either one would have been really cool. Step two for mixing with your eyes, having go-to presets. I know you guys are like, all right, Miami, come on, obviously. But it's not as simple as it sounds because the template I showed you guys before was all encompassing. Not everyone's templates are like that. Most people just have a template that has a naming scheme and a plugin here or there. So what I mean by having go-to presets is multiple presets that can work within the same template. This gives you the ability to switch between different sounds that you know will work with the mix and this lends to the whole giving each mix its own identity and character thing that we were talking about earlier. Just 
just mixing and matching go-to presets that work with each other. This is something that people don't talk about nearly enough because many plugins have a sweet spot. Have you ever copied settings from another producer, maybe even from watching a Nail the Mix or maybe even me, and it didn't sound right? You even use the same settings on the same snare sample or you're following along with the mix, but it still sounds different. It's the gain staging, bro. You know something really funny? A long time ago, I talked to Joey about how he got the most out of his plugins since from the get-go he was all in the box. And he was like, I read the manuals. I was like, what? <laughs> like, I've never read a manual in my life, except the JST ones, of course. And it didn't make sense that I would skip such a crucial step. I mean, I bought the software, so why wouldn't I read the manual? And lo and behold, a lot of these manuals tell you the sweet spot you should reach for to get optimal results in a typical mixing situation. This is probably why Howard Benson Vocals literally says sweet spot on the plugin itself, so that there's no confusion for you people whatsoever. Continue to not read the manual, if you please. Pay attention to this on compressors and especially amp sims, as the level that the input is driven can dictate the sonic character and saturation levels. So let's go over these steps one more time. Templates, multiple go-to presets, and gain staging. With these three under your belt, you'll be able to trust yourself a bit more while making moves visually. It's always a scary day when you're a mixer and aren't able to rely on these things. This shouldn't be your first instinct, but it's always nice to have tools that you can rely on. And when one sense gets weaker, another has to get stronger to compensate. I hope you enjoyed mixing with your ears, and I hope the next time you all see me, I am in slightly better health. If you're an engineer on the come up, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, you only have to do it one time. And tap that bell for notifications so when a video drops, you know the location. Till next time, I am out of here. Mic drop, <laughs> except as engineers we know, I'd never really drop this thing, cause that'd get really expensive, even if it is a piece of shirt. Later.